Some gifts are quickly gone or forgotten. Others are living legacies that benefit not only the recipient, but the world. Dr. Callan Ickes, tropical ecologist, Clemson University. It's a very, very unusual situation that Clemson uh, finds itself in owning this, this fantastic property in the tropics. I mean, 200 acres of forest and these, these old, wonderful buildings to house a research station. I mean, there aren't many schools in the entire United States, or the world for that matter, that, that can boast of having a, a quality tropical research station. In 1989, Clemson University received a generous and uncommon gift from John Archbold, the Springfield Plantation which includes 198 acres of tropical forest on the Caribbean island of Dominica. This gift is now available to students and faculty at other universities for teaching, research, and service projects through a consortium led by Clemson. The Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica. The property is in the middle of a very peaceful place. I believe it, it lends itself to a great place for learning. And um, we in Dominica have been promoting policy of, of, of encouraging universities to come into Dominica to, to set up institutions there so that there can be mutual benefits. The Honorable Lorene Bennis Roberts, Ministry of Tourism, Commonwealth of Dominica. And it's a beautiful island known as the nature island of the Caribbean. And we indeed in Dominica have a lot to offer. There are a number of natural sites, our falls, our rivers, our lakes, and even the whole environment. It's pure and clean in Dominica. Henry Hippolyte, plant propagator, botanical gardens, Commonwealth of Dominica. Dominica is so special and so natural that if Christopher Columbus would come back to life, this is the only country in the Caribbean who would recognize Dominica. Dr. Merle Shepard, Executive Director, Archibald Tropical Research and Education Consortium. If you're into biodiversity, this is a place to come. If you're an entomologist, this is a place to come. And plant pathology, uh, I mean, it has it all in terms of uh, providing an opportunity to see how things interact. Jennifer Archibald Nicole, John Archibald's daughter, Springfield Plantation. It's like being in the world's nursery. The whole place is like a giant nursery. It's humid, there's this light rain that falls all the time, constantly. You constantly hear water flowing. And, and if you're interested in horticulture, it's just a paradise. Based at the idyllic Springfield Plantation, the Archbold Tropical Research and Education Center is an interdisciplinary field station established to study and understand the complex relationships among native biodiversity, managed agricultural systems, ecotourism, economic growth, and community development. Dr. John Kelly, Vice President, Public Service Activities, Clemson University. Our goal with this site is to begin here to study the, the ecology of Dominica, to expand that vision to the Caribbean and to eventually be one of the world's finest biological field stations. The hope is to attract scientists from throughout the world here, to have our students and those scientists interact, to have their students interact with us, and to give us a chance to really participate in dealing with all kinds of issues relative to biodiversity, to ecological concerns uh, throughout the world. It provides a tremendous opportunity for the undergraduates to come down in a, in a safe environment, but to be able to get an international experience uh, learning about tropical ecology and tropical biology in the process, but in all, all these other uh, uh, facets of, of what goes on in a, in a small island nation, everything from trying to develop ecotourism, uh, sustainable agriculture, uh, youth development and, and all these opportunities are are there. One of the great opportunities here is the chance of delivering to this island through distance education. And with the partnership with the American Distance Education Consortium, Tachyon, which is a private satellite company, and the National Science Foundation funding, we were able to install a satellite here that actually lets us have two-way audio, video, wireless internet and you can really function as a full-scale scientist here or a faculty member teaching a course from here back to the U.S. The Archbold Tropical Research Center 
offers opportunities for scientists, students, and business partners to join with the people of Dominica to advance economic and social development through environmental conservation. When we um, look in the, in the town, for example, here, and you see the influence of television, this is, in my mind, a, a sort of domination. Um, but when you have real people coming who are genuinely interested and, and show the people that their world has value, then there is exchange. So because it's a research center, it's more of an environment of cooperation. We're able to attach our forestry, our life science faculty, uh, our agriculture faculty to current problems that will help Dominica, help the Caribbean, and we think will be beneficial throughout the world. You see, I would like for one day, you know, for some scientists to come to Dominica because we have a lot of, um, of herbs, trees, you know, different varieties of trees and, um, with, you know, and herbs that can, that can cure sickness, you know. It gives us a chance to do things through science that may be things that cause better health uh, through alternative medicines. It's just a terrific opportunity for us uh, to, to benefit from Mr. Archibald's generosity. So I would like to one day for some scientists, somebody to come down and make a research man. Look in the go walk, walk around and, you know, look at those things and come out with something, some medicine man. That could be nice, you know, for Dominica and for, for the world. <laughs>